Hi, welcome to Hot Spots. I'm Nicola. And I'm Valerie. And we're your guides to the best places for fun in Central Florida. Today we're going to focus on luxury. While most of us can't afford to live the lifestyles of the rich and famous, it's always fun to take a peek at it. That's right, but not all that glitters is expensive. So we're going to show you some luxury on a budget too. And what better way to start our jet set lifestyle than with a ride on a private jet? So let's join our friends Karen and Maria as they take it to the skies. Hi, I'm Karen. And I'm Maria. And we're here at Jet Management, which is a private jet charter service here at the Orlando Sanford International Airport. When you're with the jet set crowd, you really need to travel in style. So, <laughs> we have James Watkins of Jet Management here with us today. Uh, James, tell us about your business. Well, why don't we take a ride in one of the jets and we can talk about it on board. Okay, let's go for a plane ride, well, Karen. Wait, wait, wait. I don't normally ride with just anybody, but I think for that, I can make an exception. Okay, let's, let's go. go. Thank you. It's our first time on a private jet, so we're both pretty excited. Okay, now that we're on the plane, I have to ask that we're here. So is the food better here or on the airlines? It's much better here. Uh, the food here is catered. Anything you request, if you want uh, uh, Dom Perignon, which some people consider food, or if you want Delmonico steaks, whatever you want, it's prepared hot and ready to be on board. What are some of the benefits of chartering a jet? There's 5,000 airports in the United States where we can land, and the airlines, even including the little puddle jumpers, only go to 500. Wow. We give you a lot more destinations, and you have a lot more safety and security. There's no one on the plane except the people you invited. The convenience is a big thing. You have five or six people, um, you know, time is valuable, and you can save hours by uh, taking a charter jet versus a commercial airliner. Okay, so now when you take when you charter jets, what is one of the most popular destinations? The most common place we go is New York City. Wow. So uh, we take some. Uh, we have some ladies that we take shopping there. Yes, they fly in the private jet alone, and they come home with the cargo hold full of purchases. So there's obviously some money. Do you fly a lot of famous people around as, with these charters? We've flown a lot of famous people. Um, uh, we flew George W. Bush before he was president. Wow. We've flown uh, Al Gore and uh, Van Halen and Matt Damon and wow. Norman Schwarzkopf. And, uh, <laughs> we fly famous people all the time. Wow. And Matt That's Damon. Right. Yes. <laughs> if you wanted to reserve and then get on the plane and, and, and fly away to somewhere nice like New York City, what was how expensive is something like that? Uh, New York City on this particular airplane would cost about um, ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand, huh? Well, I guess it's not bad if you're Matt Damon. But most of us will probably stick with commercial airlines. But I bet you can't do this on JetBlue. Standing up by here, up here with our captain Russ, and he's has us over by Daytona Beach. We're looking out at the beach right now. What else do we have around us? We're directly over the Daytona Beach Airport as we speak. The town, the town, town area is uh, straight ahead, about a mile. We're going to descend a little bit to another two, around 2,000 feet, and then we'll be turning northbound uh, up the beach to be able to see the coast. Wow, this is absolutely beautiful. Not too often you get a chance to look at this kind of stuff. Well, that was all too brief, and before we knew it, it was time to come back to Earth. fun thank you so much You're very welcome it's my yeah. pleasure thank you but um now that we've arrived here uh, mm -hmm. how do we get to our final destination well if we were really rich and famous we'd have a limousine waiting yeah. for us that'd be nice and check it out i've got one waiting for us right Woo! now all right all right let's go let's go <laughs> we have tom Parrish with mystic limo with us um tell us about this beautiful hummer Actually, I'd like to show it to you. Would you like to see inside? Yeah, let's go for a ride. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I don't usually uh, 
go riding Hummers with strangers. Come on, it's a 34 foot Hummer. Let's go. <laughs> All right, let's do it. <laughs> Tom, tell us a little bit about this Hummer. Well, this is a 2004 18 passenger H2 Hummer. Uh, it actually is 34 foot long. It's one of the longest in Florida, and it is one of the only white ones that we have here in Florida. With well, this particular limo, what are some of the amenities that you have? I see like the special lights up here, and the we have, we have the lighting packages that come standard in almost all of our vehicles. You know, they have the fiber optic lighting, of course, the star lighting you see above you. We have usually have strobe lights, purple floor lights, lasers, strobes. I mean, it's it's, uh, it's quite a loaded vehicle, you know, three plasma TVs with DVD, CD, MP3, all in surround sound. So there's a lot here, there's a lot to handle. So tell me about some of the different clients that you have with the limousine service. Well, we have actually a, a, a large variety of clients, actually. We go everything from the bride and the groom, uh, all the way down to executives, all the way back up to celebrities. Um, we pretty much uh, carry everybody. All right, well then tell me about some of the wildest things that have happened in this limousine. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm not going to say that wild stuff doesn't happen in here, but I'm not at liberty to talk about that. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> so it's one of those, what goes on at Mystic Limo stays <laughs> at Mystic Limo. Exactly right. Okay, enough talking. Now let's go for a ride. Wow, that was a lot of fun. We went on an incredible jet ride. Mm -hmm. Now we're going for a ride in this beautiful limousine. Yeah, but after we arrive, we still need to look good. So let's send it back to Nicola and Valerie and see if they can help us out in that department. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>